Hej. Well and healthy. Absolutely. <laughs> What about you? Yes, yes. You look good okay. today. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so why do you look so good? You got a new amp? Yes. You're satisfied with this very, one? Very, very, very satisfied. My new favorite amp. Mm. They're not favorite, but they are all very good. But but it's so perfect. Everything is perfect. What do we start? No, that's the clean channel. What, what, which means clean is for me. This one is a clean amp for you. With yes, the low volume it, setting. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is no low, no low volume on a. I mean uh, on the guitar. Seventies, fifties watt Marshall, which is better on the Friedman because there is a, a way to make it clean. But who wants it? I will show the clean setting. <laughs> And there's also a, uh, a two way, a three ways of, of pre-shaping on this clean side. That's the meter, that's the normal. A little more edgy. And that's another curve. this in the moment most and then the pedals trusty solo targets great maybe you would think no difference to, <laughs> to, to all the other aims, but there is a little difference because what I like uh, on this 50 watt uh, power amp sections is it's a little more focused and tight. Because mm. on, on the 100 watt uh, Marshall, for instance, or the, even on the divided, uh, you have to take the bass a little bit down, for my mm. taste because otherwise it would be too boomy on the lower strings. And that's no problem here. You could crank the bass uh, as you like. Uh, try it maybe with your... Humbucker? Humbucker. So guitar. Play through the solo dollars. It's with the solo dollars. Okay, because it cleans pretty nice up. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not so heavy, the distortion of the solo dollars. That's without, without damage. This is the clean channel yes. itself. Use this uh, a lower volume setting on the knob to get this clean sound. So this. And I like it. Can I push this? May I push yeah, it? sure. Because this makes a kind of uh, overtones, uh, like excitement on the on the mm -hmm. upper. That's cool, but um, it's a matter of taste. Sometimes I, I like also the lead channel, which is the lead channel it. without it. Just you checking it, it out. Humming. from 
some some yeah please boost for instance with something purple <laughs> playing this style. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I always prefer not cranking it up because it's on seven. It could, mm -hmm. We could uh, have ten and, that, and then it would be a lot of gain. But I prefer six or seven together with some pre-boost. Even with the Strat it should work. <laughs> We shouldn't play that. Oh, we are blocked. Yeah. Why? That was a Tradewabel tune. Really? Song yes. of yours? It. It's really cool. Uh, it's as I said. It's a matter of taste. Sometimes I prefer the clean because more, I'm more in the Jimi Hendrix mood. Or but but there's everything possible with the same. What what is the second knob knob from the right? The second part. That's the gain of the clean channel. Ah, okay. I see. That's the gain of the lead channel, mm -hmm. and that's the volume of the lead channel, and that's the volume of the clean okay. channel. Yeah, and the rest is like on every Marshall. I have it quite 12, uh, 12 o'clock ish. And can you switch it uh, on stage with a foot switch? Yes. There is a foot switch for gentle switching and for uh, a clean mode? Or for the effect loop, maybe? No, no, that's, that would be an art that I would prefer. If I would play ever live on some stage on this planet. I would like it. Uh, that was my wizard. Hey, it. <laughs> no, I, I, he still has it. Uh, a foot switch for the effect loop. Okay. That's perfect. Because the problem is, if you, like me, I have a, some a echo box, some carbon copy, and where do I put it? On the amp. <clears throat> and if I don't want it to delay, there's two possibilities. Uh, having. Mm two very long cables from the mm. sand and return, or switching on the, on the knob, no. So a, a, a switchable effect loop would be, but I don't think that's a big problem for, for Robert. So. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. But this is a very special effect loop as, as far it's as... It's a I'm very concerned. good one. Uh, uh, Dave Friedman is, I think, very famous for his buffered effect loop. And you don't hear anything, we don't use it because we use the effects on our uh, WA, uh, DAW, but it works perfectly with, with pedals or with uh, rack mount delays. Mm. If, if we need it, it depends. Sometimes I think there's no need for, for, for every effect. Playing in some venues you, you like... Think, I think I, I need any effect I can't get. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the last gig in the... <laughs> Gasometer, that's a, uh, some, what is it, uh, a, a horrible venue. Uh, if, you, if, you, if you talk of live sound, I wouldn't check, is it on or is it not on, because it's, it's, it's reverbing all over. That's oh, so okay. Uh, yeah, I also like effects. But you did it with the wizard? With the wizard, yeah. This is a very direct it. sound. It's a normal. very good yeah. sound. It's a, they are all, all really great. But this, uh, I, I, I know it now. It has to be a EL34. <laughs> Plexi-ish. For you? For my very personal taste. And the 50 is the 50. Uh, next time we could... Uh, Try the old one, because the old one is, to sure, very, very right. good. It's not as tight as the Friedman, but has some special mojo, the creamy, mm. and, and it's very good. But, but I wouldn't trust it. Now, maybe it's no problem, but sometimes you can have problems with, with old marshals. Oof, and the tubes are mm. gone. Or the transformer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
But uh, do you do you know if the Friedman if Friedman builds up some kind of Marshall Plexi style amps with KT uh, 88? No, no, I don't know about this. But it's no problem. It's no problem for a technician, not for mm. technical guy who can, I think. KT-88 and KT-66 and N6, L6 or 65, 65, I don't know, should work with a little bias. But you like it because you said you only like the EL-34? From the, from the, uh, the that where it comes from. Mm -hmm. But uh, but I, I, I very love the, the, the versions with the KT-66, uh, like the old Hendrix Marshall, mm -hmm. which is not, right. not in the rig now, but I have it. It's a... 66? Yes. KT66. What is the different that there are 88 too? I, I, I built one in my basement once. They sounded great for about... But they are very months. similar, I think. Maybe the KT88 is a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. I have the 88 in the other divided, in the BRT23, also very good. And the 66 is very... Uh, it, maybe it's more in the clean territory mm -hmm. but it's a it's a wide field to talk about the tubes I think so maybe you guys you tell us something in your comments about your preferred tubes for example preamp tubes <laughs> yes. what do you buy what do you use you yeah. have this, this old telefunken tubes no 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 <laughs> no I don't <laughs> that would be the, the overkill but but I do uh, try to buy uh, mid-priced ones <laughs> 17 euros or no. for the first stage. For the very first stage, is, it's not a bad idea changing every now and then the, mm. the, the, the tube because it's not so so much money and it's better. Mm. It's, it's, on the other hand, you can say it works, why, why, why change it? No? And you and want to do some advertising for companies like, uh, let's say, uh, the Chinese tubes or the uh, Russian or Tung no. or... No. No, I, I, I have... You don't prefer anything? No, not really. Also, my, I, I, I think I tried uh, once this uh, Marat. Yeah. The new, they're very expensive, but mm. I, I think they are good. Which I think, because there are only uh, a few brands, of some in China, some in Russia, maybe in the Czech, Czech, yeah. Czech, Czech Republic. What is the name of this? Svetlana tubes? Uh, I, che, so. che, che. I don't know. It, but, uh, uh, Yugoslavia, I don't know what it's now. This uh, eye, you heard about? No. Eye tu tubes, this no, eye. No. Yeah. yeah, but my, my, I think every brand has uh, high quality and not so high quality mm. tubes. And, and, and I think the most important thing is they should be matched. Also even in the... Uh, power, power. Oh, is a power section. <laughs> so guys, what do you use in the power section? Hi, Sinos. <laughs> uh, what, guys, what do you use in the power section? Do you use, uh, prefer EL34 or, or mixed settings like uh, Mesa Boogie? I think they have it. Yeah, you have it. You have yeah, this, but I'm not this so amp with the 3,500 tubes in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to say I, I, I prefer the EL34, so if I say, can say. There's nothing wrong with it, so the, every other uh, is, is made of taste and, and maybe there is some uh, advantage, uh, I don't know, of, stab of stability or something, I don't know really. But we all know the British sound and the mm. British sound is EL34 and two of them it's a special sound in four of them. It's the headroom forever or volume forever. But you pre these days you prefer the two, the 50 Friedman? Yeah, what because I think where do, where, where, where do I normally play? Not in, normally I play here the last uh, years. But if I go on stage, I'm, I, I don't think I play stadiums. And if you don't play stadiums, uh, like Angus does and has nine of okay. uh, 900 watts. Because when Andrew, when, when Angus started with ACTC in the 70s, I think he had a 50 watt in. Mm. Malcolm had the 100 watt for the clean headroom, big sound, and Angus had the 50 watt for the gainier sound. Mm. 
and that matched perfect because 50 watt is also very loud. Depends, but in a in a normal venue, 50 watt you are okay. And recording, what would you prefer? Yeah, that depends if if it's For more. Us, let's say, is there a difference between recording track in a, a rhythm guitar or a lead guitar? Would you say okay for the lead guitar? I prefer the 50s, and for for rhythm guitar. Let's yeah, yeah that's a, that's a, if you are more in the clean area or in the funky or in the big headroom or have very much pedal uh, like sounds, then 100 watt is always good because of the headroom. Mm. And even and if, even if you have uh, especially if you have effects after, so like we do, not if you if you would put a, a delay or a reverb pedal here, then it would be good having. Yeah. A hundred watt. But it sounds even nice even if the even if the amp cr crunches a little bit up. If you have a crunched up delay, I think that sounds some a little bit. You it must be a sweet spot. Yeah, you have to be careful with the mix because otherwise it would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we are in the situation, uh, in we hear it uh, every time, mixed and the and the mixed version is. Putting a real great reverb or delay on a yeah, distorted guitar, and no, but yeah, there are possible, especially if it's if it's the direction echo break sound. That mm. way you use it also as a booster, and the delay is more slapback, mm -hmm. like Eddie does or Jimmy Page did it, or even sometimes Richard Blackmore with his tape. Mm. But let's try now uh, uh, this yeah, sorry, different I variations. Something. It's very important. Yeah. Write in the comments maybe what uh, power tubes you prefer, what uh, preamp tubes you buy or suggest, and what do you think about the EL84? I'm really interested in that. The 84? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's the other world. That's the AC30. Uh, world. This is the is a world for AC30. No, yeah, it, it, that we are used. To, uh, that's the most common uh, amp with EN uh, 84, uh, 30 watts. If you have four of them, mm -hmm. or oh, I have the 65, the, it's like the AC 15. It's okay. It's a fine. Let's sound. do an episode with this kind yes, of yes. next time. But maybe yeah. today. But today we are in the EN 34 uh, world. As always. <laughs> <laughs> No, there is a, especially for recording, it's great. There's a, some some special kind of of sagging with the 84, which mm. is fine for medium overdrive or for clean. It's okay. It's fine. But for the really heavy mm. stuff, I will uh, turn on a little loop, yeah. which I prepared. T-shirts. <laughs> Sinus. Sinos told us to, to mention the T-shirts. Yeah, please. Come on, Sinos, come on. So I will... Where are you? Are you on the air? So he has a nice T-shirt. Sinos has a nice T-shirt. <laughs> yes, we have, t -shirt. we have this kind we of T-shirt. any size of it. And would appreciate selling some. But let's play uh, uh, with some different uh, variations. So we what is it? Because it's very important. This, uh, this we have to mention this one. too. That, that's, a, that's a very, 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 very good battle. That's the Mythos Argo, which is, uh, I think in the last episode I talked about it, but not yeah. long enough. In the previous episode I had this black one. You, you, this was a gift from you. This is kind of that. Yes, that's the copy. A copy. That's I got the copy, one. man. I am the no, copy we all man. got the copy because the, this is also the copy of the COP. Okay. The COP, COP, I think it's the name which is very expensive nowadays. But you have the real copy, the clone of this, and this is somebody told me, some uh, music store in Finland told mm. me, uh, Emsco 211, I think was the name mm. of, of the store, told me, Dreisig, that's also a very similar. And this does an octave, puts an octave. But it. you can mix it, and that's the good yeah, thing. Good. If you if you you can use it as a very good boost. If you turn off the fuzz, only boost a little bit and turn. And with this knob, you decide a little bit the frequency. I will turn it on. That's a little bit 
Hypnose, was die vierte Hand ist und ist. You always hear it a little bit, the soundscaping. But in the, on the first, it's a boost, a real, a real good boost. And if you put it on the other side, it, it begins to... Mm. <laughs> that's the octave thing, but cool. And the knob and the, on top is the right... The fast. Yeah. And if, if you uh, turn this on, then it gets really nice, fussy. And in every position, it's, it's usable for playing lead. It's not uh, disappearing in the, in the mix behind everything else, which sometimes fusses do. This one is shaped always in this way that it cuts through the mix. I will take around uh, with this on the playback. You try. I don't want to try the, the face. You don't need to. I, need, uh, I take the face because that's cool for playing <laughs> mini MOOC. <laughs> okay. It's, it, it's a fun, it's a fun toy. <laughs> I like the face when you play through it. <laughs> the Hofer lead, maybe not always on. Uh, what, 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 uh, what did I have? Uh, that was the lead side. Uh, very interesting. I think, especially this effect, is more prominent on With the, the clean key. Channel. Yeah, that's the because the lead. Uh, the gain stage mix all uh, com compresses it all to one yes, <laughs> sausage. <laughs> That's, this is the... Very, very funny. What do you want? Let me try with this one. I just want feel, to feel it, what I heard. Yeah. Sounds nice. No, I, I I would prefer I prefer this purple one. What what is it? The king, it's the of, king tone? of tone. Yes, the king yeah. of tone with the boost or the overdrive. So I can't do it better than you did. So I prefer this one and this not and this maybe not. in between we switch to this one. Okay. okay yeah. Are we uh, starting with the? Or can we combine those those pedals? Also, but let's really? let's listen to the. Keen or a high keen? Mm, I don't know. What do you think? No, yeah, try it. Try to. High keen. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. Like it was before. It was okay, good. yeah, the, the, the overdrive. <laughs> It's a very good pedal for overdriven. Yeah, it, it, it puts a focus on it too. Nice attack. Great. And it's uh, in between because with the solo dollars, it, it's 
post it in full range. And this is more the uh, blues breaker, tube screamer kind of taking a very little bass and putting some mid range. And uh, mixing a clean signal too? No, like, no, 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 not, okay. not this variation. Yeah, take a round of my composition. Okay. I'm a little <laughs> bit excited. It's perfectly. Now with a humbucker, I think with a humbucker, I would also play. No, no, I like it with the single chorus too. It's a great song. It, 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 yeah, it's. Uh, I, I didn't find something wrong till now. <laughs> no. So. Um, yeah. The, okay. Then let's see. It's enough for now. Yeah, enough and. Uh, English lesson over. Maybe next time you'll 84, and I'm really excited about what people write. In the comments. Yes. Yeah. So. Team. And thanks for the for the really kind messages we get. Yeah, always. I Thank don't, you. I, I don't. I, I saw. I, I should uh, 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 give you the YouTube code because it's really heartwarming what yeah, people that's write. Good. Thanks. It's a nice time for us doing that. Okay. See you next, next time. time. Bye.